A probability distribution function is given by f of x is 3 over 64x squared for uh, x being between 0 and 4. Find A, the community distribution function, capital F of x, the median and the interquartile range, and find the probability of x being between 2 and 3 using the community distribution function f of x. Okay, so we got f of x is 3 over 64x squared, x being between 0 and 4. Uh, we're not asked to sketch it, but if we use our geometry, it looks like that. Define between 0 and 4. Okay, and I put some sliders in this so that you can actually use it to calculate the probability. For example, we're going to calculate the probability between 2 and Three, which is going to be that area there using the PDF we were asked to use the CDF in, in this uh, question however the link to this GeoGebra applet you can find in the notes of the video okay we have to calculate the uh, community distribution function so what we're doing is that we're summing up all these different probabilities here along this curve and to do that we need to integrate the curve with the graph of the PDF. So the community distribution function, f, the capital F of x, is given by f of x is equal to the integral from 0, and we introduce a dummy, dummy variable t of f of x dx. So f of x will be the integral from 0 to t of the PDF, 3 over 64x squared dx. So it's going to give me x cubed over 64, uh, x cubed divided by 3, the 3's will cancel out, so we get x cubed over 64 from 0 to t. Putting in our values, we get t cubed over 64 minus 0 cubed over 64. This is 0, and therefore we write out the community distribution function CDF in terms of x as f of x, x cubed over 64, x being between 0 and 4, and 1 for x is greater than 4. Okay, before I show you a graph of what that looks like, uh, the next part of the question was to find the median and the interquartile range. So uh, what, we, what are we trying to do when we find the median for a community distribution function? Well, if we go back to this, and if I put this back up 4, what we want is the value along here, so that one half of the area is 0.5 and the other half of the area is 0.5 and that's going to be somewhere around 3 point something. So somewhere around there, between those two values are there. So this area has to be 0.5 and then this area has to be 0.5. When we find the lower quartile, Then we want one value to be, it's quite hard to do using this one, one area of this area to be 0 0.25 and the other area to be 0 0.75 and the upper quartile, this area to be 0 0.75 and this area to be 0 0.25 and that's what we're doing. It's easier to use the community distribution function for this. So, so. Writing out using the community distribution function, we're now going to find the median. So the median m is such that f of m is equal to 0.5, half of the area. So that's we put m in here, so we get m cubed over 64 is equal to a half. Easy to write it as a fraction this time. If we take 64 up there and divide it by 2, we're going to get that m cubed is 32. And therefore m will be the cube root of 32. On a calculator, it gives me that value of 3.17. Okay, so it's much easier to use this to find it. 3.1748 and 3.1723 significant figures. So we can see what, what I was showing you on that last diagram. The lower quartile is such that Q1 we usually use. So that F of Q1 will be equal to 0 0.25. And therefore Q1 over 64, putting Q1 in there. Q1 cubed over 64 is equal to a quarter. Taking 64 up there, we're going to get that Q1 cubed is 16. 64 divided by 4 
and there q, q1 is equal to q root of 16 we don't have to find the numerical answer of this because the question just said find the interquartile range so in order to do that we also need to find the upper quartile q3 and that will be such that f of q3 is equal to 0 0.75 therefore q3 q put it into here over 64 is equal to three quarters so going up here, multiplying by 3 and dividing by 4, we're going to have that Q3 is equal to 48. Uh, so, uh, 64 divided by 4 is 16 times 3 makes 48. And therefore, Q3 will be Q3. Q3 cubed is equal to that. So Q3 will be the Q root of 48. Now for the interquartile range, that is, is the measurement of spread. IQR is the short way of writing it is q3 minus q1 so it's going to be the q root of 48 minus the q root of 16 which is going to give me 1.11439 and that gives me 1.1123 so we figures this tells me where this bit here tells me where the middle 50 percent of the distribution lies okay in order to do the last bit, we need to uh, do the probability of two x being between two and three using the community distribution function. Now you didn't not ask to draw it, but again, I've drawn it using this GeoGebra app, and again, I'll put it in the notes of the video. But if we look at this, this is the community distribution function. So here we got the function x cubed over 64. It goes up, and then it gets to one and then of course it stops because we finish with for probabilities okay and this is how we write it out however we asked to find the probability of x being between two and uh three so i've already set the slide this to two and three if i click this thing here it will show me how what i'm actually doing here because what i'm doing here is I'm, f, I'm doing f of three capital f of three to get that value there minus f of 2 to get that value there and that will give me the um, answer 0 0.2969 so we'll just take the y coordinates from this and the x coordinates from this so just repeat that f of 3 is going to be that one minus f of 2 which is going to be this one subtract the 2 and that gives me the probability being between those two values. That's how we use the community distribution function to calculate probabilities. And you can move the sliders to do other probabilities yourself if you want to as well. Again, this will be in the notes of the video. So, doing it algebraically, probability of x being between 2 and 3 is f of 3 minus f of 2 Remember that f, capital F of x is the community distribution function x cubed over 64 between 0 and 4. So it's going to be 3 cubed over 64 minus 2 cubed over 64, which gives me 27 over 64 minus 8 over 64, which gives me 19 over 64, which gives me a numerical value of that, or 0 0.2972 to three significant figures. This is the exact value which is preferable. Okay, and then there's a diagram of the community distribution function. Again, you get to see we get the same numerical answer doing it using GeoGebra. Okay, the GeoGebra apps are in the notes of the video. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching this video.